Hey guys, welcome back to Spook Island and we're back for another reaction. So today, I'm going to be continuing with a Pachinko. I'm up to episode 5. Episode 5 has just come out, come out yesterday. And uh, we have uh, this episode, then the finale next week. I hope you guys do enjoy this reaction. If you want to check out any of our other videos we have done on Pachinko, you can check out the playlist up there. Um, but without further ado, let's get into episode 7 of Pachinko. Let's do it. I wonder how this week will start. This is what very interested in. Oh, the sound. That's a bit low. There we go. Subtitles uh, on. Are they on? Uh, oh, there we go. That's that's um the guy, right? That's the guy, the, the um the guy who she meets in the first few episodes. It's the same guy, the guy that I didn't like. But maybe maybe if this is gonna be a a backstory of him, then maybe maybe I'll go on to to like him. Who knows? I like how this has started. Oh. Oh, that guy. Oh. A boxer versus a... Just like... Like, judo, karate, taekwondo, just self-defense. Dodge. Oh. It's bad. This guy seems very powerful. The Max is just going on his background. He's not happy. He's not happy. See, guys, that's, um, that's respect, I think, coming from the likes of this man. If you can hear the ice cream van. not what you want to be doing that's not what you want to be doing Over here. Over here. 
Foreshadowing. He's foreshadowing his, his character in the future. The show is very clever. The show is very clever. You can already tell she's just like someone who you know, hangs around for people's privileges. I bet she'd be like, I bet, I bet she would say she doesn't have it or something. She'd spend it or freaking it's gone down the drain or something. I was right. Big trouble. Big trouble. Oh my god. Don't like people like this. We really don't like people like this. Let's see. Sorry, we good? Okay, sorry about the buffer in there, it's because I'm rendering a video while I record this. Oh my God, man. Yeah, because he sees it as like he needs to at this point he needs to distance himself from him so that he can have a better life and his son being the, the selfless man that he is wants to kind of change his life so he, he the other guy can obviously his dad can you know possibly not get Oh, I thought he was to be dead then, I have to be honest.
に盗まれて黙ってたいうことになったら分かるもんはなんて言うやろうなこの世界ではなメンツいうのが何よりも大事なんやこのままやったらお前さんも男として生きてるからね私も帰ってなかったはずだし私が考えるのも一人でしょう教えば家族がこいつをアメリカ連れて行きます Oh my god. Is an earthquake? Mm. Oh my god, that is terrifying. That is actually terrifying. Jesus, man. <sighs> oh, my God. That's the wall she had. I'm 
Oh my Oh my god They're burning the whole thing down Oh my They've got to go Oh my god They burnt the whole fucking thing down That's fucking disgraceful. Now we've got some buffering. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm glad he found his family, but I was hands to be without one. What a legend. respectable that's respectable he can't just like let it go but obviously he knows that he doesn't have anyone you know and this this is a one episode i didn't expect it to be the seventh episode of the, the season but this might be this in episode four might be my my two favorites, you know. This doesn't have anything really to do with the story that we've learned so far, but because of how crucial this is to the country and the whole culture of Korea, Japan, everything, I I'm pretty sure this is a real world earthquake that happened, and maybe we'll see something at the end, but like the whole timestamps they've been doing throughout the whole episode and I just cannot believe that something so horrific would happen and, and even something like that would still divide people, you know. He literally lost everybody he knew in a space of a, a few hours. And that is it.
September the 1st, 1923, an earthquake of 7.9 magnitude erupted. More than 100,000 lives were lost. Including innocents, Koreans, and the devastations after, afterwards by Japanese. The exact number of Koreans murdered is disputed. But many historians place the casualty in the thousands. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That. <sighs> I didn't expect that. I didn't know that they were going to do an episode on the earthquake and the actual disaster itself. And the fact they did, to me, really shows how important this show is, especially right now. Um, especially how well the show showed such a big connection kind of with everything going on you know um just i love the fact that the show doesn't skip over any details you know it, it keeps everything how it should be and to me that's the most important thing when you're trying to tell a story about uh, a true event a true natural disaster that happened and then on top of that it makes it even worse because you might have the one of the worst earthquakes to ever have happened. And then obviously with everything that's happened with the Korean and the Japanese being divided, that just makes it even worse because of those Koreans who survived that might not have survived the, the violence afterwards. So, wow, that really was an amazing experience and um i cannot wait to see the finale of this show i really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction it did actually really make me cry at one point i must be honest because like seeing stuff like this always is very emotional to me because you're in the shoes of those those people and then you see kind of the, the shots of everything that happened and then within a split second you can lose the people that you love you know but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Like I said, if you want to check out any more, you can check out the playlist up there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys see you guys uh, very soon. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the, the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are very, very close to 1.5. We might actually hit 1.5 today. So I hope you guys do continue with the support. We appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and peace.